Okay, so this is part two of our project making a, um, a navigation bar. So we've made something that looks like this so far. You should have a link to your style sheet. You should have your um, four links to home, about, future plans, and Shawshine. And you should be able to open your screen up in your browser and it should look something like this because we have linked it to your CSS sheet, which we added a background color red. <clears throat> so if you're there, then great, let's move on. We are actually going to add a few things. Ultimately, what we want to happen is we want to have it so that about has some options underneath it. But we, but who's ever looking at your page knows that there's options under just about. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to come in here to right in between uh, before the closed line item, and we're going to add another unordered list. And we're going to add a couple of line items in here, and they're going to be linked somewhere else too. And the things that we're going to uh, we're going to link them to the first one is just going to be grade. And then I'm going to do what I like to do before, like copy and paste. So I'm going to copy the whole line item thing right there, control C, because there's going to be three all together. And I'm going to do control V and enter again and control V. And so now I have three. And notice I have grade, grade, grade. And I don't want to have grade three options underneath there. So I'm going to add uh, shop. <clears throat> and underneath here, I'm going to add favorites. There. So now what I have for a page should look like this. Oh, I didn't save it, so it's not going to look like anything different. So let's save it and open it up and refresh it. And there we go. So now underneath about, I have grade shop and favorites. All right, we'll pull this over here for a minute. And what we're going to do now is we're going to, we're going to use, um, we're going to use our elements and create them as selectors so that the style sheet, our style sheet actually makes it do what we want it to do. So we want it to be across the top and we want it to um, do a few different things. So let's, let's work on that. So <clears throat> I'm gonna change my background color to gray. You can change it to whatever you want. And notice I get different options that IntelliSense immediately gives us options. And so in suggestions is really more the word, not more so than options. And I'm going to um, say background size is, and I'm going to say cover, because I want it to cover the entire page. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to double check that. I'm going to save all, and then I'm going to bring my screen back in. I'm going to refresh it, and there we go. So now it has a gray background. I like that a little bit better. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at the unordered list itself right there. I want, it to, I want it to look differently. Every single thing between here and here, I want to do something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of this space out of here, and I'm going to use this selector, and I'm going to add my squiggly brackets, and I'm going to say my margin is going to be zero, because I don't want this to be flying all over the place. I want to have control over that, and my padding is going to also be zero pixels. And here's the thing about that. I'm going to, uh, I, the margin is, is specific to where your, whatever you have shows up in relation to the side of your um, project, but your padding, kind of like, imagine if you were pushing it in the, uh, your text or whatever in the middle with your finger. It gives uh, padding around the outside. And I don't want any of the uh, bullets or anything, so list style is going to be none. And so always proof. Make sure it's doing what you want it to do. So when I do that and I, okay, great. Now it's doing exactly what I want it to do thus far. It's all I've told it to do. 